what's up? This your boy Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a Brooklyn rapper by the name of Eli Frost. Now, Eli Frost looks like he didn't got himself caught up in another situation, or I should say in a situation since he's been big. Now, Eli Frost might not be a familiar name to some of you who aren't familiar with Brooklyn drill rap, but dude is really on his come up. I know that gets said a lot, but dude is really, really about to do his thing. Like he was set to show up in August and bless the stage at the, uh, what is it called? The Summer Jam there in New York. And it just all looks like it might be falling apart because he just got locked up. I don't know what is up with rappers and running to the jail instead of running to the money, but it continues to happen. Like I just did a story about Spot Him, Got Him. But Eli Frost, he comes from a different cloth, man. He's definitely affiliated with some type of organization or whatever. You see it all over his social media page. And he was involved in a case that made some big headlines this week. So that's why major news outlets are reporting on this. And I'm be referencing a few stories about it, man. Like there was a shooting in Times Square. Now, for those of you who don't understand the gravity of that situation, a shooting in Times Square is a humongous deal. That's a place where millions and millions of tourists go and it's like lit up, cameras everywhere, police presence everywhere for a shooting to take place is wild to say the least. Now, what they're alleging is that Eli Frost was the shooter in this situation. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Eli Frost a bit, man. Now, I went through his catalog a little bit. I looked at his, his YouTube page. Some of his major songs got like 2 million, a million, a million uh, views or whatnot. I like his song, No Ad Libs. It looks like dude was, you know, he was fitting the typical drill rap pro profile. It looks like he even had a relationship with Pop Smoke. Now, what's crazy is there was a story that kicked off earlier this week. There was a post that was made on social media, and basically it was put out by the NYPD, letting it be known that there was a shooting that took place and an alleged attempted murder in Times Square. Now, there was an update to that post made recently, and it said this. So the post went on to say, NYPD News, it says, on Wednesday, July 15th, 31. That's like in the future, but regardless, they, they made a mistake there. They can get a typo. An individual displayed a gun and fired multiple shots following a dispute in Times Square. Thanks to our NYPD detectives, the person has since been arrested and charged with attempted murder, attempted assault, and criminal possession of a weapon. All right. So basically, anybody who saw this or even was following this story, I remember the original alert, you would think, okay, somebody shooting in Times Square, this is obviously somebody who is out of their mind because there is no way in the world you are getting away with that. They got cameras on cameras with cameras looking at those cameras. It's it just, it's not going to happen. So before long, they were going to find the suspect and a lot of people are tripping out on the fact that it's the rapper Eli Frost, man. So we, the situation is, is crazy to say the least, but let's go and continue on to a story from the New York Daily News. Now the New York Daily News said this, they said, in the headline, Cops Bus Shooter in Times Square Shooting Mayhem. Now, the headline pretty much sums it up, man. They basically said it was a shooting mayhem. Because imagine all those people surprised that somebody's busting shots in Times Square. But we'll continue. It also says that cops say they've busted a young gunman who opened fire at another man in Times Square and sparked a war of words between some political officials. We don't care about that. That Elijah Quimina... 20 years old of Brooklyn, sprayed several bullets on 7th Avenue and West 40, 41st Street near the bustling heart of the city's tourism industry at about 12.15 a.m. Wednesday, said police. Now, for those of you who don't know, man, at 12.15 a.m., people are in Times Square like crazy. That is like, besides during the daytime, that is prime time, man. People are walking all around, you know, taking pictures, you know, the lights are going so, man, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of people out there. You know, I don't have the footage of that, but I'm pretty sure. Now, it continues by saying he was taken into custody Thursday night and charged with attempted assault and criminal possession of a weapon. The violence was the latest episode in a string of shootings in Times Square, and it unfolded after a white Mercedes clipped a motorist starting a fight. So, hold up. This all started with two cars running into each other. 
That's similar to what happened with the baby down in Miami, where it was just two car doors banged into each other, something that normally happens. This is something that, you know, insurance can fix, but I guess, you know, New Yorkers, man, they be they be on extra anyway, man. They be on go like LA cats and Chicago cats or whoever, right? So I guess that, that started a fight, man. So when they started fighting, you know what's coming next. Now the story says the motorcyclist, 22-year-old friend, confronted a group of men standing by the Mercedes and someone in the group pulled a gun and started firing. No one was hit and a Mer the Mercedes sped off while gunmen fled on foot, cops said. Stop right there. So basically, the person on the motorcycle, they their friend jumped out and said something to the cats who were in the Mercedes after they were clipped. Like, you know, okay, so after Mercedes clipped them, you know what I mean? So I can see where their, their concern was. You on a motorcycle, you on two wheels, they on four wheels, you definitely at a disadvantage, right? So they jumped out and then they said something. And immediately the person who they're alleging is Eli Frost started busting, man. That's wild, man. Now they said Qu Quimina said nothing as police led him from the Midtown South Precinct Station House Thursday night. A police source said investigators found him by looking into the Mercedes. He was connected to the Mercedes. We traced the car to Brooklyn and he was already known to the department, the sources said. Quimina has a lengthy arrest record, though many of those arrests have been sealed by the courts, police said. Now, he's only, what they say, he's 20 years old, so it's probably sealed because he was a, you know, he was, he was a kid, you know what I mean? It was probably stuff that he did when he was young. He was already out on $7,500 bond from a May 2020 gun possession arrest in Brooklyn at, at the time of the shooting. So basically, Eli Frost was already out on bond when he got locked up, or when he got locked up for this situation, or this took place, man. So it continues by saying Times Square Alliance President Tom Harris said Wednesday that the shooting and violence plaguing the neighborhood has got to stop, and said that De Blasio administration needs to stop making excuses and develop effective strategies for dealing with the problem. De Blasio spokesman, okay, they're getting into this back and forth on some political stuff that don't nobody care about because we here for the for the uh, for the hip hop news. But as far as it, this is concerned with um, with Eli Frost, that story's done. Now, what this does speak to, and this might, man, run into that same realm, is a bigger problem with shooting crimes across hip-hop. Like, what in the world, if you got a rap career that's burgeoning, what in the world would make you do something as crazy as starting to let it go in the middle of Times Square? Like, I know these cats stay on go, and they just better to be caught with it or caught without it. All these catchphrases, right, that cats say, but man, this just seems like a crazy situation to even involve yourself with when you know you got big things coming up. Like I said, he's going to be on the Summer Jam stage supposedly in August, but this might derail all those plans. And he's got a good following. And a lot of people in their fan pages and the comment sections, they're talking about he might have blown his chances in the rap game. Now, what do you guys think about this situation? Is this just another wild and crazy story in hip hop? Or is this just a growing problem in hip hop because cats cannot use the restraint not to pull out the blicky no matter what the situation is? Like an argument with a motorcyclist doesn't seem like it's it that's the same that's the level you know that's the same energy you should match that with you know what i mean sometimes getting into a fight is just getting into a fight nobody got to get shot you know what i mean but man that's an old school way of thinking and i know things are different today so we're gonna leave it at that now with that this has been your boy big man do me a favor make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time i drop this hot content and we out of here peace